Hello everyone. In this video, I will be walking you through you know, one of the uh, topics for the Elastic Certified Engineer exam. And I will be covering Ingest Pipeline uh, for this particular video. It comes under the Data Processing section. So let's get started. I have my slides open and we will quickly walk through what is Ingest Pipeline. So Ingest Pipeline basically is uh, there is a, a incoming documents and you have a set of processes that uh, transfer, do some transformation and then stores uh, the the documents to the target index. So I'll just quickly read through uh, the lines here. Ingest pipeline lets you perform common transformation for your data before indexing. For example, you can use pipelines to remove fields, extract values from the uh, text and enrich your data. A pipeline consists of a series of configurable tasks called processes as I mentioned. Each processor runs sequentially in order making specific changes to incoming documents. And after the processes have run, Elasticsearch adds you transform documents to your data stream or index. So it can be data stream or an, or an index also. So both, both will work. Also, ingest pipelines uh, can be used by update by query or the reindex APIs. In this uh, demo, I'll be showing how to use reindex APIs. So that is out of the way. Let's uh, do some hands on. So I'll show you the, uh, we'll check a sample record first and uh, I'll show you what I intend to do. So these are my goals. I have uh, put four goals. First, change the currency to USD. Convert taxful total price accordingly. So because we are changing from Euro to USD, so I'll do some calculation. Then uh, there is a, a field called taxless total price, which is redundant. I want to remove it. Fourth goal is add a field called customer type. And this will be based on something like this is a new field which will be added. So if the bill amount is more than 100, the customer type will be VIP. Otherwise, the customer type should be regular. So these are my four goals. So I'll copy this snippet of code and go to uh, Kibana console, paste it over here. So I'll show you the sample record first. So this is my sample record. And if you just take uh, for the first record, you will see like uh, the things which I mentioned. The, the currency is currently Euro. And there is an extra field called um, because it's a uh, it's a single bill, so there's a field called text full total price and textless total price. So uh, both are same. So I want to remove this particular field, and uh, the this should uh, this amount should be changed from USD to Euro. And third one is customer type. This field doesn't exist in the JSON document, so I want to add this based on the amount of text full total price. So these are my goals. Okay, moving on. So this is the uh, ingest pipeline. So how it looks like you have uh, an endpoint called ingest and then pipeline. So this is the keyword. This wouldn't change. The last part uh, is the name of your pipeline. So in this case, I'm calling it update customers. You can call whatever you feel like and you can provide a description to make it more uh, like easier for us to, to know what it is doing. And then as I mentioned, there will be a set of processes. This is an array and this will be executed in order. So there are four uh, processes which I have put. First is a script which will add some uh, calculation to the textful total price. It will increase by 10% and remove a field called taxless total price. It will change all the currency from Euro to USD. And the fourth processor would actually add the logic for taxful total price if it's more than 100. Uh, make the customer type to VIP, otherwise make it regular. And you can provide a version also. This is an optional field, but uh, it's good to provide. And then I will just check it out whether it's uh, uh, the, the pipeline has been created or not. So I'll copy this snippet of code. Go to Kibana console. And run this query. Okay. So this uh, pipeline has been created. I can just check it out. So there is no issue. It is as uh, exactly how I sent so now i will i will just do some uh, i'll just uh, run that pipeline because the pipeline has been created now i'll use the reindex api so this is a reindex api i'm using the uh, very popular kibana sample data e-commerce which comes with elastic search by default and i can uh, my target or the destination index it's not there if it's there it will be updated if it's not there it will be created on the fly just to mention and yeah, then you just have to say the pipeline so this is how it will, uh, so data from will go to uh, to the target, but it will go through the pipeline and all the processes would run one by one. And I'll just confirm uh, that whether data uh, uh, got transformed or not. 
So I'll take this query. I'll run the reindex API. So it has run successfully. Now I'll just check out. So if I come down, uh, information here. So you can see uh, first uh, regular customer type has been added. First thing. Uh, second is uh, yeah. Second is currency also has been made from euro to USD. Uh, what else was there? Okay. And the prior tax full total price uh, information should have been updated. So uh, this is updated tax full total price and I don't see tax list total price so I can just do a search tax less so as you can see I am not finding any tax less total price so all my four goals uh, are successfully achieved so that's all I wanted to cover for ingest pipelines thanks for watching see you next uh, see you next time bye